Acapulco is one of Mexico's oldest and best known beach resorts. In the 1950s and 60s, it was a big tourist area, an attraction to the rich and famous of Hollywood and across the world. It is considered Mexico's jewel of their tourism industry. However, in recent years, Acapulco has become a haven of violence as rival drug traffickers fight each other over coastal drug routes between South America and Mexico. Human trafficking has also become an issue and the Mexican government wants to clean it up. We were invited to come here by the Mexican Federal Police to help them target a madam, a trafficker who was selling little girls, even virgins. We got everything set up and then she had to skip town. Uh, but we have the permission to continue working, so they've asked us to stay and find other targets. So we're here and we have our marching orders. I'm sending my Ford operators into Acapulco. Our team lead is Matt Osborne, an experienced operator formerly with the CIA and State Department, where he worked for a number of years in Mexico. His extensive knowledge of the trafficking situations here made him the perfect person for this op. He knows how this country operates. Matt asked for top-down cover and committed to the Mexican government that we could still make the op work in the time frame they had given us. We didn't have a suspect, so we just hit the ground running like we always do. Resort towns are havens for child traffickers because of the tourist population. We head to the beaches because that's where the guys are typically selling their services. We talk to everyone. They offer drugs, girls, and in many cases, the conversation turns to children. Our best lead was a local tour guide named Mario. He peddled legitimate tours, but rumor was he peddled illegitimate ones as well, including sex with minors. And when our cab driver found out we were Americans, he too was even offering up girls. That's what I was telling, that's what I was telling my amigo Matt. In case any of you like a good compañía, if you say I want one or two girls, I can bring four or six, and you pick the one you like. What do you mean by young? They have younger girls. What age is more or less? Pretty. Pretty. Pretty yes. I'm talking about uh, 19 to 20. Wow. All right, so they're prettier. That's good. Yeah. Well, we'll give you some good business, though, and we really appreciate your oh, no problem. discretion. I'm just, I'm just wanting you to know, I mean, honestly. It's and if I bring back my wife, it never happened, right? Don't say anything. <laughs> you know what? I don't know anything. anything. <laughs> That's right. For our meeting with Mario, our cover was that we were rich Americans holding a bachelor party. Hola amigo, ¿cómo estás? Bien. Jorge Luis. Por favor. Jorge Luis, por favor, aquí, Mario. Gracias. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. I got a good news and bad news. Which uh -oh. one wanna hear first? Uh oh. Dice buenas noticias y malas noticias. No, no, por favor, no. I don't know. I just kidding. Wow. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Algo? ¿Tomar? ¿Qué, qué edad tiene? Oh, no. <laughs> Pero las chavas nada más ahorita por el momento van a llegar otras dos, van siete. Siete. Claro. Es bien difícil ahorita con el menor de edad. Está ahí una voladora en los carros. ¿Algo algo así? Sí. ¿Aguas con ella su Sí, por favor, tengan que ver. Por eso somos ira. Mira, 
nosotros estamos confiando mucho por lo que me dijiste. Sí, sí, sí. ¿Por qué nos aseguraste? Si, ahora sí que nos aseguraste seguridad. ¿no? Claro. Nosotros pues, confiamos mucho en ti. Claro, claro. ¿No? Siete, sí. seguras las siete. Segura. Todas chiquitas. Pero ¿de qué edad? Es porque Stone. 16. No hay más chica, no hay más grande. Todos 16. Okay. Hablamos con las chavas y le dijimos. Ya hablaron. Ya hablamos y le dijimos que es sexo. Puede ser. Puede ser. Puede ser. O sea, que van a lo que van. Por eso se les va a pagar. Y dijeron que sí, aceptan, aceptan. Ok, aceptamos, ok. Pero que sea seguro que se les Ok, entonces, plata para niñas, check, para el drug. Mañana, plata para el transporte, ya adelantado y hablamos de todo, ¿ok? Javier, ¿algo más? Son guías de turistas. Ok, ok. Pero bus busca la pornografía también, ¿ok? Hey, gracias por todo, ¿no? De verdad, ¿ok? Hey, lo siento, como tú sabes muy bien, somos muy pesados los gringos, ¿ah? ¿eh? Ok. Gracias, Jorge Luis. ¿Nos vemos mañana o no? Sí. ¿Tú, tú vienes también? Sí, Ok, perfecto. Ok. Tomamos un trago, ¿ah? ¿eh? Sí, Sí, ok, gracias. So we have a target. His name's Mario. He says he traffics in drugs and he traffics in minors. He's ready to bring these girls to a party. So we're setting up a sting house, a party house, and this house has to be nice. It has to be big. We have to show that we are American tourists that have money, that we do this. And also it gives the opportunity for Mario to bring as many girls as he can. And so we're moving forward. Ok, eso sí, aproximadamente 10, 15 personas. También queremos privacidad, entonces de vez en cuando no, no queremos que estén, ¿no? Por la noche, no sé, no pasen la noche aquí, ¿no? No, 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 muy no, bien, no, no, okay. ya, ya si Vamos tú... a cuidar muy bien la casa, pero entonces es, es por, solo para saber. Ya si tú no, la, no los ocupas, tú le puedes decir, este, ¿sabes qué? Este, pueden muy bien. retirarse pero y nos vemos mañana. Hay vigilancia, hay vigilancia. servicio, todo aquí. No solamente en las brisas, en las entradas y salidas, pero también este, uh, aquí en la casa o fuera. Claro que es yo muy seguro. Perfecto. Okay. Yo aquí usted, me Mario, muy bien. Pendiente. Yo les abro. Si okay. ustedes salen, okay. ustedes me tocan el timbre y ya adelante. Muy bien. Well, thank you very much, though, really. No problem. Do, do you like this house? Yes, very much. Actually, the, the, the reason this house for us is better is because more friends have their own bed. You know? Roberto, we like girls. We like girls in our beds. We don't like other men in our beds. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't tell my wife. Please, don't tell my wife. Come on. I'm teasing. But you know what I mean? In the first house, we would have had to be, you know, tu y yo in the bed. I mean, <laughs> that's right. Trust me, these guys who are coming, they can pay, but they also look to me to keep, keep prices down. They want to save money for the other stuff, you know? It looks like Mario's the real deal. We were able to get some video evidence of him admitting what his intent is, to bring children to our sex party. So we got a warrant for his arrest, working with the Mexican police, but these warrants only last 24 hours. So we got a small window to make this operation a reality. Yo ahorita voy a hablar con Nico porque él debe de, prácticamente con él debe de ser la negociación. Sí. Sí, él debe de llevar la negociación. Porque tú entendiste el problema de, de, de la dominación de inglés del PIMP, y si él habla en inglés y si grabamos todo en inglés, él luego, frente al fiscal, puede decir, no, eso fue un malentendido por mi inglés, no entendí todo. Pero si él hablara solo en español para los micrófonos y todo, eso sería más difícil para él, ¿no? Me explico con mi español o no, por eso tenemos, por eso el rato que tiene va. que estar Nico, tiene que para, para que hablemos en... Pero durante esta comida y para tener la evidencia y la prueba, es preciso que diga Mario otra vez, que repita él, ok, entonces sí, 20 y 20. Un, un tiempo de, 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 de cuatro horas. Y la eh. Virgen, les voy a ayudar a la Virgen, uh -huh. ustedes pueden hacer todo, uh -huh. las niñas van dispuestas a comer. Okay. After our meeting, we went to visit one last time with Mario to wrap up the details of the party and to see in person what he would be offering. Amigazo. Good. 
Cuidarte otra vez. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Hola, ¿qué tal? Tomás. Mario. Mario, te gusta. Oye, antes de que van a comer algo aquí, ¿no? Nos tomamos un refresco o algo, ¿no? No tenemos así como que mucha prisa, porque tenemos el tipo de controlado con lo que okay, mira. Pero vamos para, si vamos, un refresco. Vamos para que chequen algo. Ah, ok. Nunca había venido aquí. Desde la noche están, ahorita la noche están a ver, nomás para que vean. O sea, entonces, las señoritas. Perfecto. Pero, ustedes decían, esta, esta, sí, esta, no, esta, sí, esta. ¿Ok? La cantidad que. Sí. Está bien, está bien, ¿eh? Está bueno. Está muy limpio. Que esté el equipo de este señor Stone de California. Después de mi amada, ella, directamente al vuelo, llegó como a la una de la madrugada. Sí, sí. Es que no tenga ahí, también está igual de loco. Directamente. Adelante, gracias. Wow, qué bonita. We sat down and the girls were paraded before us, a live catalog. But it was obvious that these girls weren't minors, but most likely adult prostitutes. This wasn't what Mario had agreed to bring. Okay. Gracias, damas. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
ya para ver con los planetas, los vigilantes y todo, de eso no hay problema. Tú, sí, tú, 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 tú renta la. Tú renta la. Cuarto, que no me ve, que no, es una casa. Pero todavía no estamos. La, el mero jefe, nosotros, llega a las 9 de la noche. ¿Es Cristiano? No, es eso. Con Paola. Ah, ok. Mm, ya me dijo, ya con ella. Bien. Que es ese RTA señorita, ¿sí? Sí. No, okay. sí, 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 sí. Señorita, dile, Paola. <risa> Señorita Paola Esa es ella Pero que es Yelfina Yelfina Excelente No tengo piel fina <risa> Le comentó a George de, un, de una persona que mencionó que nosotros lo hemos seguido ya de sí. tiempo. A, y de... ahora tenemos la señorita Paula y Ajá, Piel Paola, Fina. Es Paola, pa... carnal. Y, Paola, y, Paola, y, y Piel Fina, pa... Ajá. Y Ajá. Molino Rojo mm -hmm. y todo. Ok. So they have lots of opportunities sí. now for follow-up in the case, no, which is Gabriela, what they wanted. Paola. They have names of people. They have names of Ella. places. They no dice follow Because that's what the whole idea was. Obviously, we would love uh -huh. to say 20, 30, 50 no, girls, all right? But in this particular mm -hmm. party, that is not going to be, uh, you know, the, the most ideal. So what we do is we start it, and then these guys carry it. Que sigan ustedes con el caso. Que sigan ustedes con todo. That they follow everything up. So. De hecho, okay. yo, creo que, yo creo que en el momento que, que hagamos esto mañana, otro grupo de, 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 de parte de nosotros va a trabajar ese tema. Ok, perfecto. Sí, sí. Y no parece que él, él es el jefe, jefe. Ma, él no, está... él, como dice él, mi jefe, sí. pero su jefe es Paola. Así es, es Paola. Es, es la fémina de la tarjeta, ella es la jefa, pero no le nombra jefa, nombra jefe. Dice, es mi jefe, pero es oh. fémina, es femenina, ah. es Paola, ella. ¿Y ella va a venir o no? Ella va a estar aquí en la noche. Esta noche. Esta noche. So this is another important part, is one thing that is, uh, I think, very useful about a lot of OUR officials having ties, you know, former government ties, we're able to reach out to the U.S. Embassy. So the U.S. Embassy in Mexico City is following this case. They're supporting us from afar. They vetted the people we're working with here to make sure they're trustworthy of federal police. They've given us the go-ahead and the green light. They're also are monitoring the case now. We're able to confirm what we heard today from the police chief of police that this, is, this case has now been taken up by the highest levels of the Mexican judiciary in the Attorney General's office. It's an organization called Seguido, which fights against no? organized crime. No? And so they are now working with, with, the the with the Attorney General, keeping the embassy in the loop. So, again, as we always talk about, you can never eliminate risk, but we're reducing as much as possible and we're giving us the most opportunity to work together and synergize the efforts that we're doing. We'll keep our fingers crossed. It was the morning before the op. I arrived along with the rest of our jump team, and we began the final preparations. Dutch is in charge of the operational security of our missions to make sure our team, and most importantly, the kids that we seek to rescue, are safe. We always bring a medic on our jumps. If there is any situation that requires medical attention for the girls, for us, or even for the traffickers, they're our first responders. Crystal Reichert is a mother of two, and the first friend that these girls have when they arrive at the house. The original operation had failed when our first target disappeared, but in the 11th hour, by finding Mario, my team infiltrated another trafficking ring, one just as dangerous. In the end, they pulled it off. The way that we have set this whole thing up is that Mr. Stone wants us to take care of everything, wants his underlings to have everything done so that he just walks in and everything's done. That's why for Mr. Stone to be up in the balcony there, maybe with a cigar, maybe with a drink, just sitting kind of watching is exactly what our guy's going to expect. That we're doing everything, Mr. Stone's ready because he doesn't want to mess with any of this stuff. And Mario, Super Mario, as we're calling him, said, I completely understand, that's fine. We want him to sit all the girls down, and we want him, in no uncertain terms, to tell them in Spanish what they're going to be expected to do, okay? Because that's right there. We're not going to provoke anything. I'm just like, remember Mario? Mr. Stone, last time we had a terrible situation because he got in there, and the girls didn't do what had been promised. Will you please just explain what's going to happen? So he's going to say, you're going to have sex with the Americans when they want, where they want, how they want. You're going to, you know, he's going to do whatever. That then nails that. Then we walk over here, but he's also going to tell the girls, do not do a single thing 
until we're ready. I or a gringo or anyone from it cannot actually hand the money to the trafficker. That's going to be bad for Mexican legals. So what we have to do is when we're all ready, I tell Javier, Javier is the guy next to me, go, okay, Javier, el dinero. Javier is going to run to a pre posting location, and when Javier gives the money, that's going to be okay with Mexicans, okay? He counts it out. The minute he puts it in, we can give the signal. Their main concern is, again, in Mexican law, and again, I worked this for three years, is that um, it's so slanted to the defendant and there's such impunity in Mexico that if he has any inkling that he was set up, if he knows that there's someone from the back who gets him. So we just went and had wings and the head cop who you'll meet tonight, Luis, and wonderful, he drew out on the map how he wants it to happen. So when the arrest comes and takes here, he wants this his guy to actually pull Mario this way. So all he sees is here. There's going to be a stack coming up from the front. They're putting two flashbangs outside. As if, as if they blew the door and then came up. Because he doesn't want Mario at all to think there's any chance that anybody came from back there to get him. So I love how they're thinking about it's all good. this stuff. Do you think he can deliver? Do you think he's I think he can deliver a few. But it's enough to begin the process of shutting this whole network down that could very well be the network in Acapulco and could actually ensnare the original one that we wanted last month who fell, fell by the wayside. Let's do this right tomorrow, because if we do this right, this will open the entire country of Mexico up to more rescue operations. Our first priority is the safety of the kids we are rescuing. Because of that, we put as much distance between them and the traffickers as possible in the case that something unpredictable were to happen. So for our operation, the girls will be safe in the house while our negotiation and takedown will occur out in the yard. It's op day. Because of the public exposure I've been getting as the face of Operation Underground Railroad, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't recognizable. The money we would be paying Mario was counted and documented. Last minute security details were covered and the local authorities were on standby, ready to roll. Everything seemed great for a minute and then we got more bad news. Tomás, también tú hablas español, so the backpack, just the backpack. Sí, juntaron niñas, okay. pero no son menores. Solo dos son menores, una de 15 y una de 16. Okay. Nada más. Solo los dos. Solo que dos. vengan los dos. Con... Quería ver si, si yo le dije que iba a ir, a ver si estaba de acuerdo. We just confirmed with Mario that the majority of the girls he has are actually adults. It's illegal to traffic in adults, but this operation was intended to rescue children. He does have two minors who will be coming to the party. So Matt has to talk to the Mexican Federal Police and decide if they want to do this. We work for them. They make the calls. Matt's talking to them right now to figure out if they want to go ahead with this enormous operation to rescue two kids. Es para, la decisión es para ustedes. Si todavía vale la pena que hagamos este operativo. Si hay menores, pues vamos a chingarle, ¿ok? Piense en, lo, en el valor más grande para ustedes, que podemos ayudarles. Para nosotros todavía vale la pena, pero muy rápido, con muy poco dinero, pues está muy enojado el señor Stone, pero las dos para él, ¿ok? Mil pesos, cinco mil, está, boom. De, de, detención. What's going on? Javier went down. He saw that Mario brought 14 girls together. They're not minors. None of them? No. There are two minors. So I just told Comisario and I told Luis, look, we're in your hands. If it's still enough, bring the two minors only. We'll act like we're pissed. We'll give him a few thousand. We'll say, frick this man. Senior Stone, he'll take the girls. They take him down. They've got him. If they think they can move forward, if they think with the intelligence we've helped them gather, if they think there are ways to move forward, that's what they're talking about right now. It's, it's their decision. Exactly. That's what I told them. So that's what they're determining. Um, but if, if you have them still in two minors, it's, 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 not, it's generally not right to turn, them, to turn them back. If you can save two minors, you save two that's, minors. That's what I tried to say. Why not? And move I mean, forward. We're here. We've got everything. It's, it's, it should be illegal to traffic adults, too, here. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're, and they're being, a, and so bring them and all. And they brought them from elsewhere. ¿Qué pasó, Mario? Estoy aquí. Estoy aquí con, lo, con los señores platicándolo. Platicando con él. Oye. Parece ser que sí, que, que las dos niñas sí. Va a ir él nuevamente. Ok. Va a ir por las dos niñas. Ok. Por las dos menores okay. de edad. Las otras 14, las mayores sí. de edad, se van okay. a su casa, no okay. las ocupamos. Ok. ¿Cuánto tiempo? Pero ¿cuánto me tiempo? Dijo que ahorita me avisaba y cuánto se tarda. So, with Mario on his way, it was time to go. The plan had changed, but we knew that at least we'd be saving two girls that day. The last few details were covered and final cameras were put into place right before our traffickers arrived. 
Don Mario, Super Mario, yeah! Súbanse, guapas. Hola, hola. Bienvenidas. La próxima vez. Vale. I want to introduce you to Mr. Stone. You remember Tomás, sí? Eh? Tomás? ¿Cómo estás? Hola, Mario. Mr. Stone, this is Mario. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. I'm so sorry we were late. Only two. We to take care of you, yeah. Too many troubles. You know, well, you know how it is. I'm happy with two. They're for me. I don't know what everybody else gets. Well, we <laughs> try to get to the best. That's good. Very, very, very nice. Hey, right. Mario, I want to I want to talk to you in here for a second. Okay. Sure. I'll bring. Te dije que dijo Mr. Stone que no nos va a tocar nada por no haber cumplido. Solo él con las niñas. Ah, ya, ya. Sí, creo que sí. Okay. No, está bien. Así es. So Brian is the uh, bodyguard for Mr. Stone, and he just wants to talk for a minute here. Okay. Brian, this is I'm, right I'm, here. I'm personal security for, oh, for Mr. Okay. Stone. No, so I, I just want to make sure he gets a little nervous, you know, about some of this <laughs> stuff, you know. So we were in Guatemala, yeah. okay, about two months ago, yeah. and we did something like this, okay, and, they, and the guy like you, you know, we trusted him and everything. He brought the, he brought the girls and everything. And, you know, because they're because they're young and they're kids, you know, and he uh, he started touching them, you know, and they go, ah! and they started like getting all crazy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that makes he said he, he said Brian, if that happens one more time, I'm fired. Oh uh, yeah. Because I'm kind of in charge of. No, so don't worry. Are these girls gonna do everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he touches, I mean, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What are they gonna do? Everything. Okay. The, uh, like, Ready to. Like what? Like every? Like there's no question? Is there some things they'll be like, oh, you can't touch my boob? No, 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 no. Just hit it. No? Just hit it. Just I already talked to her. Did, did, you, did you talk to them? Did, did, do they know? Mira, can, hey, we need señorita, venga. Oh. Come here. Muy importante. Mira. Hola. Hola, hola. Hay una cosa muy importante, OK? Ellos, hola. lo que ellos quieren es divertirse con ustedes, OK? Quieren que no le vayas a decir, ay, no me toques los pechos. Ay, no me hagas esto. No, no me toques los pechos. Todo lo que ellos quieran, todo lo que ellos necesiten, Huh? Ellos están dispuestos a pagar. No buen precio. Yes, no, no problems. No, no problemas. Problem. Okay. okay. And how, how, old are, how old are you? ¿Cuántos años? ¿Cuántos años? Voy a cumplir 16. Almost 16. 16. Okay. All right. We love this. Thank you, Mark. It's a really hard thing to go undercover, to look into the eyes of these traffickers and talk to them about the horrific things that they expect us to do with these girls, the things that they're selling these girls to do. I mean, it is. It's so hard because you just want to reach across the table and just punch him in the face. But you've got to play the role, you've got to be their friend. And even worse, to have to look into the eyes of these victims who look at us like we're some just sex-crazed pedophiles and they will not know that we're actually here to help them, to rescue them. This is something our operators have to, have to work with. It's something they have to live with. And it's very difficult, but it's, it comes with the territory and it's a tough part of this job. So we're just going to talk here real quick, okay? We're just going to do the negotiation here. Romario, por favor, aquí. With the, the, the best view for our good friend. Because you are our good friend. You're good. Okay, it's all just muy, muy rápido, okay? Javi, muy rápido. Okay. Thank you. Para ello por dinero, no sé. Si tengo que coordinarse, tú dime, yo voy por dinero. Pues usamos lo mismo, lo mismo que me dijiste, ¿Sí? seis mil cada uno, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Tú no, no mereces seis mil, ¿verdad? Pero esta vez, sí. ¿Qué, qué, qué puedes prometerme en el futuro para el equipo señor Stone? Mira, para, la, para la próxima vez, yo te prometo, o sea, sí te voy a prometer algo mejor. Yo voy a tratar de hacerte lo mejor que yo pueda. ¿Y cómo, por ejemplo? Sí, tráete mejores mujeres, tráete mejor calidad, tráete mejor... Pero necesito tiempo que me des con tiempo. Sí, pero todavía va. Con tiempo. Yo con tiempo, yo como le comenté, a lo mejor nos dijo muy rápido, la verdad. Y si él no hubiera dicho con tiempo, yo te hubiera traído chavas bonitas okay. y niñas. 
sí. no te traigo mujeres grandes. Porque usted está al tanto de sus gustos y todo. Sí, ok, ok, perfecto. Yo te la, no, esas muchachas son mis primas. Ellas okay. vienen de Chipancingo, las dos. Ok. Están chamadas. ¿Son de Chipancingo? Sí, son de Chipancingo. Okay. Tienen okay. 16 años. Las ok. Dos. Están chicas. ¿Y ustedes llevaron ellos o ellas viven no, aquí? Ellas, ellas vinieron. Yo les okay. dije, ellas acaban de llegar. Ok. Ellas okay. tienen dos días okay. aquí porque entonces, vinieron a playa. Ok, para no este, malgastar, desperdiciar tiempo. Entonces, uh -huh. no lo mereces, pero. 6 mil, 6 mil, es decir, ahora mismo 50% es 6 mil, ¿ok? En cuatro horas, no ahora, mejor tres horas. Otros 6 mil más, yo creo, como 10 mil, ¿ok? Yo creo, no puedo prometer 10 mil, pero más o menos así, ¿ok? ¿Algo más o por el dinero? ¿Ok? Muy rápido, por favor. ¿Ok? Um, uh, sí, de momento 6, pero yo tengo como 20, 20 mil más, pero... Ok, y um, el departamento por otra vez, ¿sí? Otra... ¿Qué va a decir Stone? ¿Qué... Pero yo, 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 yo le conozco. Sí, muy por bien. eso yo te hago okay, esto. Pero uh, con estas dos son, son bastante menores, ¿no? Sí, sí. están chiquitas. Son, 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 eh, ¿Son familia? Sí, son mis primas. primas. Son sus primas. Son mis primas. Sí. Ah, primero este y luego esto. Ok, mira. Okay. Pues enseña primero el otro no, lado. No, 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 a, no, a la vez. Ok, eso iba a haber, ok? Solo para que sepas, ok? Iba a haber. Ahora, por favor, cuéntalo y yo quiero empezar. Um, ok. Todo lo que nos iban a prometer, por todo. La parte no, 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 sí. lo que íbamos a, iban sí. a hacer. Sí. No, pero aparte me dan una comisión. Pues. Sí, así, sí. No se preocupen, va a haber un poco más, pero no como este. Pero la próxima vez, no se preocupen, no se preocupen. Pero por favor, que no nos falle. Sí, sí, sí. You're working with the cops, are you, Mario? Mario, what's happening? You're working with the cops, dude? This guy works with the cops, man. What's up? Can I stop the silence? Okay, okay, okay. Up, arriba. Up, arriba. Okay, up. Up. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. No, no, no. Stop. Okay. Don't hurt me. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, what happened? Are you working with the cops too, dude? No, 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 no. It's Mario. Dude. A unique aspect of our job is that we work with government partners who we've never trained with. When the breach happens, okay. it's a concern to my team that the authorities know who the traffickers are that need to be arrested and who the good guys are who are my undercover team. We're in handcuffs and they have guns and there's nothing we can do. The Mexican government proved to be trustworthy partners. The breach went off without incident. Uh, Mr. Stone. Mr. Stone. Okay, okay. Okay, don't hurt me. No me haga daño. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. No, no, it's okay. Está bien, está bien. After the arrest, we have to make sure that the traffickers believe that we were bad guys. We have to make sure that they see us in handcuffs and they see the police taking us away off the scene as if we're going to jail. We can't afford for word to get out there that my team was working with the police. This would compromise 
our own personal safety and security, and also it would compromise future operations. After the arrest, the victims are separated from the traffickers, followed by an initial interview by a social worker. They then are taken to a safe house where they can begin their healing. Authorities then go through all the arrested traffickers' belongings, looking through pocket trash, looking for notes, phone numbers, all this to build their case and hunt for additional traffickers and additional victims. One of the hard things about doing undercover work is that when the bad guys go to jail, they look at you and they look at you like you're some kind of a friend who betrayed them because when you're undercover, you are their friend. You become their friend, you get to know them. And even though they're doing bad things and they need to go to jail, there's a part of you that has befriended them. And there's a part of you that is sympathetic to their plight. Their lives are over as they know it. With the operation coming to a close, I'm sending most of my team home. My forward operators need to stay in the country. In fact, they're being transported back to Mexico City with Mario and the accomplices so that they can testify against them to make sure that these traffickers go away for a long time. The operation was successful. It was a lot smaller than we had planned, but in some ways a lot bigger because the doors are now open. The Mexican police want us to come back. They want us to go into other dark corners of their country where this is happening. So we hope that this operation, though small, will lead to the rescue of hundreds of kids here in Mexico because the doors are now open and the partnership is made. We're looking forward to, to the future of working here in Mexico and fighting this most horrific problem. Alicia was one of the girls we rescued. We were able to get her into one of our safe houses. She was able to go there and begin her healing process. One day, she woke up, went to her director and said, I need to talk to the police. And she started telling them the rest of her story. She started informing on other trafficking networks. And within a week or two after she did this, federal police in Mexico were able to go in and rescue 12 other girls and arrest half a dozen other traffickers. This is the OUR model at work. It's planting a seed. It's building something that will then grow even without us. It will grow on its own and kids will get rescued. <laughs>